We are going to finish up section 2.4 about shortest distances and closest points by doing section 2.4.4, the distance from line to plane, and section 2.4.5, the distance from plane to plane. So let's go and start with the distance between a line and a plane. And both of these sections are going to be fairly straightforward because they are going to rely on things that we have seen before in previous videos. In fact, I won't even show you any examples on how to do this. I will just tell you sort of where to start as a jumping off point because it really will be then just doing things that we have done before. So the first possibility to consider here is if the line is contained in the plane or if the line intersects the plane then the shortest distance between them is, so the distance from the line L to the plane pi is zero. Right? Obviously if it's in the plane then all points have zero uh, distance from the line to the plane and the shortest distance is the distance from that point in the line to the plane, so zero distance. The second and uh, last thing that we need to think about for lines and planes is the situation where the line is parallel to the plane. And if the line is parallel to the plane, then there is a fixed distance anywhere along it you go from the line to the plane. And so all you need to do is choose a point choose any point on the line. You can see one typically in the equation that was used to define the line. And then you will do the equation from point that you've chosen to plane. So the distance from L to pi is equal to the distance from the point P to pi to pi. Right? So that you're doing distance from point to plane. And that's it. Those are the cases from line to plane. So now what about the distance from plane to plane or the distance between planes? Again, two categories to think about here. The first, if the planes are coincident or if they are intersecting, well, that's the same first type of situation that we had up above. The distance between those two planes is then zero or the minimum distance between them is zero. If the planes are parallel, this is the second situation here, if the planes are parallel, well again just like our second case up above then there is a fixed distance anywhere you choose to go between them and so you choose a point P, you get to choose any point that you want in the plane uh, so here I've said on pi 2, but you could do it the other way around, and do point to plane, right? So the way I've written it, you're choosing P in pi 2, and you're doing the distance from P down to pi 1. So the distance between the planes is the distance from point P in pi 2 down to pi 1. So that is it for the distances between our objects, points, lines, and planes, and closest points between them uh, in three-dimensional space. In the next and last subsection of the chapter, we will talk about how to find the intersection of these geometric objects.